Hi, I'm Hajin Yun from the DevRel team in April. I'm here to introduce the Data Hub Actions framework today. So I'm going to briefly explain on what is Data Hub Actions framework and what does it do and why would you use it and some real life use cases. After that, I'm going to show you how to create actions and a little demo on propagating tags on data set. Okay, what is Data Hub Actions Framework? Data Hub Actions Framework basically takes actions on changes happening on Data Hub. So what changes and what actions? Briefly explain by change, we mean the events happening on Data Hub. And by actions, we mean notifications, propagations, and much more. I'm going to um, go through this a little deeper throughout this session. Okay, so what does it do? Before we dive into this, let's start with this question. So how do we get data into Data Hub? To get data from data sources like BigQuery, Snowflake, to Data Hub, you use our metadata, metadata ingestion framework. This could be a simple command via our CLI or some low level manipulation using our APIs and SDKs. Using this, you get metadata and publish them into Data Hub. On the other side, you might want to get data out of Data Hub. There could be a lot of events happening on Data Hub. Entities get created, um, attached, removed, deleted, etc. You might want to subscribe these kinds of events and get notified. Or you might want to sync the changes across the systems. Or you might want to propagate aspects on entities across the lineages. In short, the Data Hub Actions framework comes into play when you need to get data out of Data Hub and take actions based on them. So what kind of change do we support? Currently, um, currently we support entity change event and metadata change log. And for the event sources, um, event sources, we only support um, Kafka um, as the only event source. So how does it work and how can we execute it? Basically, it'll be executed like a normal ingestion using the CLI, except you have to install April Data Hub Actions module and use Data Hub Actions instead of Data Hub Ingest and configure the action config file, something looks like this. So this is a very simplified version of the action config file. So you have to define the name of the action pipeline here and define the source, which is Kafka. And you could also set some filters. And lastly, you have to um, configure the type of the action. It basically tells what actions to take on events. So what type of actions could we execute? There are some actions we already provide. For example, hello world. Um, if you configure hello world like this, it'll simply simply prints all events it receives as JSON. And if you configure Slack as a type of action, it'll send notifications to a Slack channel you already configured. And um, here's the awesome thing: we support um, propagation from version 0 .0 0.0.13. Um, so it'll let you propagate on tags, terms, um, and the snowflake. Um, so I'll show you a quick demo on this later. Also, um, customizing action is also possible, which gives you a lot of flexibility within the framework can basically make your own action within action framework following these steps. First, you define um, action by expanding the action-based class in Python and over its functions. So it'll basically have three functions, create, act, close, where act function contains um, the main logic of the action. So this is also a very simplified version of the customized action 
where it just prints out all the events um, as, we, as it receives. So after defining the action, you want to you might want to install the action. So either you place the file in the same directory or install it as a package. Lastly, you can run the customized action like this. So you define um, you declare custom package name, custom file name, and custom class name. So as we covered a different type of actions. Um, I'll show you a quick demo on tag propagating actions. Okay, before we start, what is tag propagation? Let's say you attached a tag on dataset A, and dataset A has a lot of downstream assets. Like for example, it has a thousand of um, downstream data set. It'll be completely inefficient to add tags on all the downstream entities manually. With tag propagation, the action pipeline will listen to the tag added event and use the lineage, lineage to find the downstreams and attach the tag to them automatically. So I'm going to show you um, a live demo on this. Um, as you can see, I already deployed the data instance in my local and I already configured the um, action config file here. So as you can see, I already named the pipeline as tag propagation and defined the source. And um, I configured the type of the action as tag propagation. So this is a very simplified um, version of like, tag propagation. So you can run this action by um, saying data actions um, dash C in the name of the file. And basically it will say action pipeline with name blah, blah, blah is now running. Okay, so let's see how it works. As you can see, there's no, here, let's remove this right there. There's no tags attached to these data sets. And let's say I want to attach tags here, um, sample height data set. And let's see what happens on these data sets. Okay, so probably it needs documentation. So what it does is it detects the event on attach tags and detects the downstreams of the data set. And it'll attach the tags um, on the downstream data sets like this. So this is a very simplified example of the tag propagation. And I'm sure that you know there's a lot of flexibility within this framework since you can customize the actions. So I hope this was helpful and talk to you later.